Hi, this is Pratik and welcome to Code Very Pi. In this video lesson, we'll learn about how to do in our traversal without using recursion. That is, we will be using a stack to do so. Now, in one of the, my previous tutorial, I already talked about doing in our traversal with the use of recursion. But here we are interested in using a stack. Now, the reason behind this is that pushing and popping from a stack is a lot more faster than making a recursive call. So now let's understand how to do it. Now let's suppose this is the binary tree that is given to us and we, and we have to do inner traversal of this binary tree. The inner traversal of this binary tree is 4762513. Now one thing is pretty clear is that we have to reach to the leftmost node of this binary tree that is 4. Now which means we have to assign a variable which starts from the root node and it scrolls down way up till the leftmost node of this binary tree and while scrolling down in the left direction when we reach none that is uh, first we reach to 2 from 1 and then we reach to 4 and then we try to go further left to 4 and we reach a none so when we reach none we are sure that we have reached to the leftmost point of the binary tree and at this point we will have to print 4 and after printing 4 we are gonna do the same process with the rightmost subtree of the node 4 that is we will start from 6 and we are going to scroll down up till we have reached the leftmost part of the subtree then when we have reached the leftmost part that is 7 we gonna print 7 so now let's begin the process from the beginning that is uh, we will scroll down the left direction from the root node that is 1 and while scrolling down I will be appending the nodes inside the stack so first one gets appended then two and then four and when we have reached four we try to go further left that is force left and when we encounter force left is none then we are going to pop from the stack and then we are going to print the popped item and so therefore four gets printed and now we will watch the left subtree of the popped item now the left subtree of the popped item is is this now i will assign my variable to the root of this subtree which is 6 now again i will keep on scrolling down the subtree and as i scroll down the left subtree i will keep on changing my variable as variable is equal to variable dot left so as i scroll down i will reach a point when i reach none so when I reach none, I am pretty sure that I have reached the leftmost node. So, and also while scrolling down, you will have to append the nodes inside the stack, which means 6 must have got appended and after that 7 gets appended. Now when we reach none, we have to pop from the stack and after popping, we will have to print the popped item. So we printed out 7. So after printing out 7, we will be doing the same thing. We will be, we will be watching the right subtree of 7. But in this case, the right subtree of 7, there is nothing like that. Therefore, we are going to again pop from the stack. And we are going to print the popped item. Now again, we will try to move to the right subtree of the popped item. And in this case, 6 doesn't have a right subtree, which means again, we will pop from the stack. And then we are going to print the popped item that is 2 now since we have popped and printed the 2 here and now it's time to reach the right subtree of 2 which is this now we will be assigning our variable to the root of this right subtree and we will try to go as left as possible now when we scroll down from 5 in the left direction we encounter none and also while scrolling down we will have to append 5 inside the stack so now we scroll down and we encounter none and when we encounter none remember that we will have to pop from the stack and after popping from the stack we will have to print it now print we print 5 and now we try to go to the right subtree of 5 but in this case the right subtree of 5 is not present so again we are gonna pop from the stack we are gonna print the popped items to data and we will move to the right subtree of the popped item and assign our variable to the root of this right subtree now again i will be appending this three inside the stack and i'm going to traverse to the leftmost node of this right subtree now when i when i start my traversal 
and scroll down in the left direction I encounter none and when I encounter none remember that we will have to again pop from the stack and we will have to print it so therefore 3 gets printed and now I again try to reach the rightmost subtree of this subtree and in this case 3 doesn't have a subtree which means again we will have to pop from the stack but the stack is already empty therefore the entire process ends when the stack becomes completely empty or I should say when I cannot pop out anything from the stack then we will have to break the entire process and the entire process happens in a while loop we're gonna see that how so first now let's define a class node and this class node will be responsible for making the basic structure of each and every node and now I'm gonna declare a constructor and inside this constructor I will be passing the node data that is the data which should be present inside the data part of the node structure so I'm going to assign the nodes data as node data and I have to make the left and right part as none now, before doing the in order class so I will have to make the tree structure and for making the tree structure I will make use the class node by first declaring an object of the class node that is the root and inside this when I make the object of the class node I pass the data that I want to fill in inside the data part of the node so the root node becomes the node with data as one similarly I am gonna declare the other nodes also like the left node is the node with data as two and in the same manner I'm gonna declare other nodes as well so now our tree looks exactly as I showed you in the example so now it's time to declare the in order function so inside this in order function I'm gonna pass the root as a parameter because I have to do in order traversal starting from the root and inside this in order function I am gonna declare the stack now remember that in Python we can declare a stack by simply assigning an empty list now first we're gonna check if the root passed is not none and in that case we're gonna append the root inside the stack inside the stack and then we have to assign a variable which keeps on scrolling in the left direction so I'll name that variable as current and I will say current is equals to root dot left now to do the scrolling I will be declaring a while loop and inside this while loop I will be saying while one that is this while loop will be continuing until I declare a break statement now the scroll down is only possible when current is not none so we will have to check if current is not none and in that case I will be first appending the current inside the stack and then we'll be scrolling further down in the left direction and for that I'm gonna say current is equals to current dot left and while scrolling when we fall when we finally reach none then we will have to pop so in the else part I'm gonna write current is equals to s dot pop and now we will have to print this current so I'm going to declare a print statement here and then we will have to shift to the right subtree of this current so I'm going to assign my variable to the root of the right subtree that is current dot right and then this this entire while loop will again continue that is will start from the beginning if current so in this case our current is 6 and and the six we reached the six when we first scroll down to four we found four's left is none then we printed four and then we shifted our current variable to the root of this right subtree of this four now we first check if current yes six is actually a node which means we append six inside the stack and then we move further left of six and we move further left until make our current as none so our current is finally gonna become none and when our current becomes none we'll reach to this else part and in this else part I'm gonna pop from the stack and I'm gonna assign the popped item to current and then I'm gonna print that popped item and I'm gonna move to the rightmost part of that popped item which means that when we reach 7 and we popped out 7 printed 7 and we try to go to the rightmost part of 7 but rightmost part of 7 is none so our current becomes none which means again when the loop starts from the beginning and checks if current no current is none which means it 
directly jumps to the else part and in this case it again pops from the stack and assigns the popped item as current which means six gets popped and the entire process is repeated again and i hope you can visualize it for yourself but now let's understand when we are going to break this while loop now i've showed you before also that when we reach this position and we append three inside the stack repeat the entire process again again pop three from the stack and print three the three becomes the last element to be printed and in this case the stack completely becomes empty and when the stack becomes empty it's time to break the while loop or oh, let's understand it this way that when we are three and we try to we pop three from the stack we printed three and we try to go to the right subtree of this three which is again none which means our current finally becomes none and it check it comes to this position so if current is it, it is none which means it will directly generate the else part and now it will again try to pop from the stack so now here we don't have anything to pop and in this case i will have to specify that if the length of the stack is greater than zero then only perform these steps else if the length of the stack is not greater than zero which means the stack is empty then we won't be performing these steps and in that case i am gonna simply break this while loop now it's time to call the in order function inside the main so i'm say in order root and i'm calling the function here so now i'm going to run this program and we see the output as 4762513 which is the resultant required output that we should have got all right so this is how in our traversal using a stack is done i hope you understood this video like and share this video and subscribe to the channel